Hey everyone, this is Nitin here. How how you guys are doing? Uh, I'm, it's been really fantastic to see you guys uh, working on my my tutorial and uh, and uh, sending me uh, all of your queries and the concern you have. And uh, I'm privileged to answering all of your queries and uh, helping you out uh, to to uh, to explore more about this uh, this medium. So friends, today. Uh, I'll be demonstrating uh, a one quick uh, uh, scenario where there will be a uh, composition of boards and uh, uh, and nearby environment. Uh, this whole exercise is to bring uh, a significant uh, level of uh, uh, the freedom how you uh, how how to choose that uh, the right approach uh, to go ahead with the watercolor. So as I said, uh, the the composing the whole uh, your uh, whole painting is uh, it's really important. You'll have to see that uh, where your object and where is your focal point would be, uh, and what is your foreground and the background. Uh, that's really uh, really critical to understand uh, you know, when you do the painting uh, in any form of the painting. So I'll do this sketch first. So this is your story where you wanted to depict what exactly your painting wanted to say. Uh, this is really important uh, to any painting you are making. It should have uh, something to say, something to explain. So uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll make my first wash of this painting and uh, and hope uh, uh, hope this will come out good. So before starting this painting, uh, let me introduce my color palette. Uh, I'm using this cobalt blue, sepia, sap green, orange, yellow ochre, red, crimson, and this is mauve. And I'll be also using uh, some bit of uh, ultramarine blue and uh, burnt sienna and ivory black. So let's start doing the first wash of this. I've taken this cobalt blue. and adding a little sepia on it it's just giving a little off color because the cobalt blue uh, if you'll start using the cobalt blue directly it's very contrast so as much as possible a little more water a little less uh, color so this is so here I'm using uh, my color so before starting this painting uh, let me introduce my color palette 
uh, I'm using this cobalt blue, sepia, sap green, orange, yellow ochre, red, crimson, and this is mauve. And I'll be also using uh, some bit of uh, ultramarine blue and uh, burnt sienna and ivory black. So, uh, so yeah. So I'll do. So I'll start doing the first wash of this. I've taken this cobalt blue and adding a little sepia on it. It's just giving a little off color because the cobalt blue. Uh, if you'll start using the cobalt blue directly, it's very contrast. So. as much as possible a little more water a little less uh, color so
all right so we are doing the second layer of our painting So I'm working on the other human figure there, <clears throat> just putting some color, a random color and we'll be dealing with this later on. It just... Uh, the impression of the object what exactly you want to you know you want to depict so you really don't need to spend much time and uh, giving any much detail on it as i said earlier it's just uh, some random figure some 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 person there on the beach they're walking so uh you just need to put here those color and uh, once it get dry so start giving a more detailing on it not much detailing it's just uh, uh, some bit of uh, the color fill Some shadow here.
Okay. So again the shadow, the side. So watercolor is all about the the depth and the shadow. So, uh, so I'm just keeping this side as a lighter lighter, and uh, then I'm giving the shadow. Here. It brings immediately. It brings the value, and uh, it starts conveying the story. Uh, you know, it brings the value in your painting. So. Uh, so it's a really important and these all the things actually you know uh, you will be learning in your sketch uh, when you do a proper sketch exercise and that's the reason I just keep telling people that uh, you should do some sketch as well okay I'm just a little darker here So every object has kept here. You should, you should actually give uh, the shadow and how the lights comes and uh, where the shadow falls. That's that's really important. Okay, some color sky. Okay, so I'll just make this.
Okay, so it looks like uh, our second layer is complete. So I let it dry for some time and then we'll work for the third layer. So it seems like this third layer is got dried. Now we will be working on the last layer of this painting where we'll be giving a little bit of detailing on the painting. Uh, so for example, this head. So I'm just taking a color directly from the tube. wire on this looks like uh, we have completed our painting and uh, and uh, yeah I think uh, it's come out good so thank you so much everyone uh, watching through this video and I hope you really enjoyed and uh, uh, and hope uh, you have learned something uh, so I'll be coming up uh, some more videos uh, similar like uh, this uh, this is this video is more about like uh, a semi advanced learner uh, I have uh, some more uh, planned for the pretty beginner uh, watercolor learners so I'll be coming with us uh, some some tutorial for them also uh, so my only request uh, from all of you is that uh, when you do watercolor do it from from uh, from your heart uh, just uh, don't get irritated when when things are not working out properly and uh, you you end up with uh, uh, with a uh, unpleasant uh, uh, painting so uh, that's a typical scenario happens with everyone it happens to me it happens to all the artists who today is very much established in the in the watercolor field so never worried about all those aspects that uh, you you are not improving your watercolor is not improving uh, the only suggestion uh, i would give you is that uh, just have uh, have a great amount of patience and have a lot of joy while doing your painting and things will definitely work out and uh, your diligent effort will not go waste so my best wish is for all of you to you know, to just enjoy this medium whatever you could whatever you are doing just be happy with that and day by day you will definitely improve that's for sure um, so thank you so much uh, uh, 
i will definitely come up with a new video soon and i'll share with you guys so thank you so much so, so i really appreciate who contributed in my patreon and who become my patreon thank you so much to them i would uh, request all of you to uh, support my art and uh, help me to create a lot many watercolor content for you uh, and share with you this world so so thank you so much uh, watching this video and i look forward to see you uh, soon